footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Memory Hunt, the Zarb the Playbook, breaking down the Music City Bowl between Mississippi State and Wake Forest. Now let's take a look at the Bulldogs' keys to victory to see what they can do in order to win this bowl game. When I look at Mississippi State's offense, I look at a team that's very one-dimensional. They do some things well in the passing game, but it's really a run-heavy team, and they win it on defense against Wake Forest. They're going to have to test that secondary because they give up a lot of yards in the passing game. So if they can use the pass to set up the run for Big Ballard, then he's going to find a lot more running room to take it the distance. So I look for Mississippi State to come in and work the short to intermediate passing game early in order to take advantage of the running game later. I love Mississippi State's defensive line. I think they're going to have a feast against that O-line of Wake Forest. They do a great job of pushing the pocket, getting pressure on the QB. And against Wake, who has given up 29 sacks all season, they're going to be able to get pressure on the QB and shut down what they want to do offensively. And I think that is going to help the secondary play just play coverage. They don't have to play a lot of man, just a lot of coverage, cover two, cover four, keep everything in front of them, and they can have some success. Take a look at Wake Forest's keys to victory to see what they have to do in order to come away with the bowl victory. When I look at the Demon Deacons, I look at a different offense, the tell two offenses. When Harris was in the ball game, they were outstanding, explosive offense. Now that he's out injured, I look at the offensive line. They've given up 29 sacks all season. I have a big question on whether or not they can protect up front against Mississippi State. If they can, this offense still has a lot of talent in the backfield. I mean, they're still able to run the football with Pendergrass. So if the O-line can hold their own at the point of attack against the Bulldogs, they can have some success because I think they can take chances deep down the field with that passing game. When they're playing an offense like Mississippi State, it's very simple to stop the Bulldogs. They just have to make sure they contain Vic Ballard, the outstanding running back. And what Wake Forest does well is play outstanding team defense. They do a great job of rallying to the football. And if they can do that against Mississippi State, they can put these guys in back to passing situations in which they can have some success. I'm going with Mississippi State in this ball game. reason being their defense. I have to side with defense in this matchup. I know Wake Forest has a well-balanced attack and they can move the football offensively. I just don't trust that offensive line of the Demon Deacons against a ferocious front four of the Bulldogs. For more college football previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash college football or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. Follow me on Twitter at fballgameplan and listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash football game plan.